Assalamu alaikum guys Welcome to our new lecture This is the continuation of our uh, lecture 4 and lecture 5 In lecture 4 we have in lecture 4 we have derived the signal power and in lecture 5 we have derived noise power now in this lecture we will try to find signal to noise ratio based on the previous lectures right so what was our uh, signal remember our signal was minus infinity to plus infinity pt this tau data right and our noise was okay so from uh, the lecture 4 we have derived the signal power and from lecture 5 we have derived the noise now our aim is to find the SNS signal to noise power ratio so in general is defined by the signal power to the noise power right signal power to the noise power So SNR is a signal to noise power ratio. Now for signal to noise power from this signal we have derived what is the signal power right? We already know it. It is defined by this PD minus infinity to plus infinity PT minus tau H tau data whole square and from this slide we have to find this noise power n0 by 2 minus infinity plus infinity h square theta now our our aim is to our aim is to our aim is to find filter ht this yeah ht ht so that signal to noise ratio maximizes so what is our aim our aim is to find the filter transfer function ht response of the filter so that the we can maximize the SNR for that we will use a formula the formula is if minus infinity to plus infinity What is that formula? The formula says the uh, whole square of two signal UT and VT they will be equal less than or equal to the individual square. Individual square. This formula is known as Cauchy square inequality. This is known as Cauchy square. Cauchy squares inequality. 
this is the formula for squash squash inequality for equality to holds on so for equality for in from this equation for equality holds when ut is proportional to vt in other word ut equal to k vt so using this formula what we can write so using cauchy squash inequality cauchy squash inequality we can write what we can write the snr we can actually we can rewrite this equation we can rewrite this equation we can rewrite this equation where this this uh, square this square will be divided this one this square will be divided like this equation eh? in two part so pd pd minus infinity to plus infinity p into minus infinity to plus infinity h square tau d tau minus infinity to plus infinity h square tau d tau we rewrite this equation we write this equation rewrite this equation here you can say this can be crossed right so the snr we find the snr is pd minus infinity to plus infinity p square p minus tau t minus tau d tau by 2 so we can say the snr is maximized when so we can say snr is maximized when p uh, this is t eh? pt minus tau proportional to h tau this formula eh? using the quasi squash uh, inequality so we can say that if if this holds eh? this is for our 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 cases this is pt and for our cases this is h tau if this uh, ut proportional to vt means pt is proportional to h or p tau is proportional to h tau then this happens eh? then this condition happens and this is the maximum snr so the snr can be maximized when pt is so, okay so we can write when s is maximized when pt minus tau is proportional to h tau so which can be rewrite k h t right k h t so uh, we can say with without loss of generality so without loss of generality generality k equal to 1 k equal to 1 so what we find we find p t minus tau equal to h tau what it says actually 
what this equation actually giving us for maximum SNR for maximum SNR right this is for maximum SNR now for maximum SNR what happens we can write for maximum SNR the impulse response impulse response which is actually this one ht impulse response has to match or equal to the pulse shaping filter pt impulse response the maximum SNR happens when H tau, which is the impulse response of the receiver, should be matched to the pulse shipping filter PT. This field, uh, this this filter, hence called match filter. Match filter. So in a match filter, what is actually says the, the output, okay, if I, the output filter should be matched to the input filter that is says, right? So let's see an example. So for example, uh, this is the pulse in the oil in the transmission. This is the transmitted pulse. This is shaped by the pulse uh, filter pulse shipping filter pt right so this is pt now this is pulse shipping filter eh? this is a pulse shipping filter is nothing but an input filter we use in our uh, digital uh, transmission at the input of the transmission right now so if it's pt then what will be the pt minus tau so we have to our target is to find p p minus tau right okay it's a pt eh? capital t this can be so what is p minus tau What will be the p minus tau the p minus tau will be the flipping of this one so p minus tau will be just the flipping so now we have to find the p t minus so this t p t this t make it the signal a little bit advanced so t is here so it will be the little bit advanced p t so this can be this P T minus tau signal. Right? So which is actually has to be the equal to H tau. Isn't it? In our UBS cases. This one? H tau, yeah. See? H tau. H tau is the impulse response of the filter, receiver filter. Right? So we can say that what it actually do the signal the uh, response of the filter in input the impulse response of the filter is really the flipped and advanced version Fli flipped and advanced version that's all that's why how they got matched that's why it's called a matched filter so this is an optimum filter so optimum filter or match filter maximize SRR so match filter match filter maximize snr signal to noise power ratio so we from this theory we can uh, find that if i use the same filter which was used in the input if i can use 
it at the output our filter would be our uh, filter will be called match filter and hence we will get the optimum or maximum SNR so our maximum SNR would be we know that value PD minus infinity to plus infinity P square T minus tau D tau by 2 or or we can rewrite it it can be PD to minus infinity to infinity this amount this one is h square right? now we can actually rewrite it also sorry pd by this one we can write for example uh, if i write if i write p t this one eh? i'm writing this one p this amount so uh, let let uh, i already have derived this equation earlier probably you remember in one of the uh, last class i don't remember which lecture just check it say t minus tau equal to t tilde what will happen minus d tau will be d tau tilde right so we can write P square t minus tau is tilde tau tilde d tau d tau is minus d tilde because of this minus the integration changes before it was minus infinity to plus infinity now it's uh, plus infinity to minus infinity okay okay so uh tau tilde oh we missed this one uh, this was minus eh? minus because of this minus the uh, integration again changes eh? so this will be again minus infinity to plus infinity is square tau tilde and d tau what is this amount actually this is nothing but the energy of the pulse shipping filter this is actually energy energy of the pulse shaping filter in the input eh? means i can rewrite this equation here like this this can be actually p square tau which is also the energy of the pulse shipping filter okay so this is the condition for maximum snr now we uh, find the maximum condition for the maximum snr where if we use a match filter the snr will be maximum okay so in the uh, now we will actually derive the uh, beat error rate or uh, beat error probability inshallah in the next class